Yeah, they were. What a horrible truth! If the memories from the flashback lights are lies, then everything was a lie! All the suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing! Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at all. Well, that is what it means. Oh. She's got a bunch of of uh stuff from from previous games floating around her. Cosplay stuff, I guess. Huh? Lies are just like snowballs. The more you roll them, the bigger they get. The bigger they are, the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. The memories from the flashback lights were just lies? Yeah. <laughs> it's just as Shubichi said. Flashback lights are not for recovering lost memories. They're tools for implanting new ones. The light that we miss is actually information that has been converted to light waves. That light is being directly into the brain, causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. <clears throat> I don't even know if that's... I don't know if that's even scientifically possible. We were just confused? But... There is all kinds of, um... Brainwashing. So... I don't know. <laughs> For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy? Yeah, okay, so this is what I said at the very beginning. They they seemed so normal looking. I wonder if they were just normal people after all. Hey. <laughs> you guys don't have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy. None of us were ever students there. It was just a fake memory. We're not students from Hope's Peak? Not only that, I don't think you guys are ultimates. And on top of not being ultimates, I don't know if any of our hangout sessions have even, like, really meant anything. Yep, that was all fake. Looking back, it was a mistake to have you remember Hope's Peak. I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst! So that's why Kokichi had to die? <laughs> Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights. Yeah. But he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. That was a lie he invented himself. He wanted to be the mastermind. He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied. Anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cult I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. Huh? Which means the mastermind who snuck Monokuma onto the Ark is... Me. He usurped the mastermind's role, but in doing so, became a thorn in their side. So to get rid of that hindrance, the mastermind played along with a lie. The mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. At the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair. You were using the flashback lights to control us? <laughs> Duh. Then the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... You were being controlled by false memories, like putty in the mastermind's hands. But Maki wasn't the only one being controlled. Remember when Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside world? You all got so depressed, you couldn't even focus on the killing game! 
Wait, then, to make us recover from that, you... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, we gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students. The symbol of hope. So you all could face despair. You controlled us with that big memory? Well, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. New mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. You know, it wouldn't have mattered if we had, um... <clears throat> If we had just followed along with Angie, um, I imagine she would have done something to make Angie, Angie get killed. But I guess it was fake motivation. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies. This class trial was like that too, wasn't it? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? Was that also a memory you used to control us? Hey, what was it you guys remembered from it again? At first, you ran away from the Gopher Project, humanity's last hope. But then, you bravely chose to accept your fate. You took on all the wishes of your friends and family. And now, you remember how you got here. You remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. I have to escape! I'll never give up! I won't be defeated by the Mastermind! You know, I was wondering, like, how many, how many, how, how, like, how they would have built, rebuilt this building over and over and over. But <clears throat> if they implanted the same, <laughs> the same ultimate talents every time to people who were in here, then they wouldn't have had to work so hard. Or maybe this is still a huge, big budget operation and she can just make as many different ultimate talent rooms, labs, or whatever. Even though Kaito and Kokichi were gone, and Kibo started to go berserk, you guys didn't give up hope. You decided to face this killing game, right? You were controlling our emotions? Even our resolve to defeat the Mastermind? This is a killing game. A death game where emotions run like blood. If the participants aren't trying their best to live, it's just not very exciting. The memories were fake. Then, what was everything till now? Uh, lies. <laughs> that memory, and 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 that. If they were all fake memories, then where are we? Why are we in this killing game? For amusement, I, I assume. <laughs> oh, God. I can't... I'm I'm laughing, but I'm, I'm really, honestly... I'm so upset that Kaede died, guys, for this. Aww. Oh. Yeah, who knows? My plans for mankind's last killing game kind of just fell apart. So figure out why on your own. This is a class trial, after all. You know what I just noticed? Her eyes have a V and a three in it. Then, <clears throat> who are you? Who is she? She already said she's Junko Inoshima the... What was it? 23rd? Or no, 53rd. Big difference. I don't know who you are. <coughs> What's not to understand? I became me. What about that don't you get? If this killing game is connected to Hope's Peak Academy, then I believe you. This is certainly the work of someone carrying on Junko Inoshima's will. 
but we have nothing to do with Hope's Peak, so you can't be Junko. So who the hell are you? I mean, no one else. Oh, please. Get out of that body, too. If you become Chiaki, I'll be so upset. What? What is this? Huh? You know him, don't you? He was in the Jabberwock Island killing game. I'm glad you made Hinata. That's not what we mean. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm just cosplaying. Cosplaying? Yeah, this is just cosplay. But it's not just normal cosplay, because I can perfectly replicate the character. Check it out! Even my voice sounds exactly the same. Yeah, but, uh, your Hajime voice was a little off. Is Junko and Oshima also? Yes, it's my cosplay. You better not they become Kaede either. A number of characters and actually become them. This is the talent of the ultimate cosplayer. She cosplay as students of Hope's Peak Academy because Sumugi told us. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Like me, some people prefer to cosplay as non fictional characters, which is unforgivable. It's so unforgivable that I break out in cosplay if I even attempt it. It's a lie, obviously. What does this mean? That you're a big fat liar. You're you're a liar as much as Kokichi was, you lying liar. What? If what I said was the truth, then Hope's Peak Academy was What Hope's Peak Academy was? If Smoogie can cosplay as them, there's only one possibility. It's fictional? It's fictional? It's all fictional? Fictional? No, what's more likely is that she's a big fat liar. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history never happened. Hope's Peak, the future foundation, and the remnants of despair do not exist. Because it's all fiction. None of it actually happened in the real world. All of those events took place within a fictional world known as Dongan Rampa. Dongan Rampa? What? What are you even talking about? You accidentally clicked too fast. What? You've never heard of Dongan Rampa? We have characters in it. Right. Me, that nasty pig and everyone else are all fictional. Hold on. Then, Hope's Peak Academy doesn't exist? You know what? They actually brought back, like, a lot of these voice actors. They're all the same. Besides, Hajime seemed off. No, because it's fiction. Doesn't exist in the real world. What? Isn't that surprising? Yeah, up till now you thought fiction was fact. Fiction is just fiction. Dungan Rampa's just fiction. This whole Dungan Rampa story was just stuffed into your memories. For that reason, you all believed that work of fiction was, in fact, reality. And that's how we put on a cosplay performance for everyone to see. A cosplay performance of the whole wide dog and rumpa world! A cosplay of the whole wide world? So, this was all <clears> fake? <throat> Everything was made up? Or again, more likely, she's lying about her cospox. <laughs> the whole time, we thought it was real? Do you think the ultimate cosplayer's talent was only limited to characters? 
It'd be kind of lame if that was all the big bad mastermind could do. I can do far more than that. I can cosplay the world itself. So if you want to make me your enemy, then your enemy is the world of Dongan Rampa itself. Dongan Rampa itself? But why? Why would you do this? Why make us think it's real? Well, duh. It's so you don't play the killing game. This is the world of Dongan Rampa, you know. No shit, we're playing the killing game. But it's not just any killing game. It's a killing game that takes place in the real world, propped up by fiction. In other words, it's ultimate real fiction! Yeah, like all these voices are, are, are the same voice actors. Um, which begs the question, uh, Rantaro sounded strikingly like Johnny Young Bosch. Why didn't they have that guy voice Hajime? Because that was pretty dang close. If everything isn't real, then the world being in ruins is also fiction, right? The world outside is fine, right? Yeah. Right, of course! How did you like that scene? Our staff worked very hard on it. to worry about the people backstage. Anyway, back to our conversation. You guys can just relax. The world hasn't been destroyed. Really? It's not destroyed? Then we can all go home and... <sighs> That ain't happening. <laughs> Why? If the world is still intact, then we have homes to return to... I told you that ain't happening, you dumb sea urchin-headed... Wait, that's me. Monokuma, what's going on? Do you really want to know? Yeah! <laughs> Forget about the world! It wants nothing to do with you! The walls of this academy are your world now! The outside world is of no concern to you! So you just want us to keep doing this killing game and you drop off more students in every single time? The audience certainly agrees with me. Isn't that right, you guys? Some of these faces are repeating. <laughs> Watching this killing game transpire. Of course, those you see here are only a fraction of our total viewers. Watching us? It's just like Shuichi said. This was all arranged because people want to see it. So this was all a show? This whole killing game? Yeah. Everyone in this oh. whole peaceful world watches this show. Oh, you piece of human garbage. Peaceful Get world? out of that body. <laughs> the outside world is peace itself. There's no despair or wars and... <laughs> All the people in this peaceful world are straight up crazy for this killing game! <laughs> Why would a peaceful world need a game like this? It's because the world is so peaceful that this killing game is necessary! It is so very peaceful. I'm sorry. It is so very boring. With so much peace, people have become bored. They need stimulation. We created this ultimate real fiction so Danganronpa could fulfill that need. Every person in the outside world watching this is a huge Danganronpa fan. Everyone loves the killing games. This killing game is for everyone. So it's everyone's killing school semester. 
This killing game is the latest entry in Don Don Rumpa. The long awaited sequel that everyone has been waiting for. This is the truth of this killing game. Isn't it the ultimate real fiction? We. We were forced to play some fictional killing game? Well. It's not as fictional as you'd like it to be, being that people died. So. Too late. There's no Dongon Rampa without Monokuma. Since I'm here, that means this is Dongon Rampa. What is this? Can you tell? It's the title of the current Duncan Rampa you guys are doing. <clears throat> are we doing like a full break of that fourth wall? A testament to the unquenchable thirst this blood soaked world has for Duncan Rampa. What do you mean? Duncan Rampa's gone on so long because the whole world enjoys and supports it. Huh? How long has it gone on? 53? Do you forget what season of Duncan Rampa this is? are dumber than ants. 53rd? What do you think? What? What number killing game is this? What season do you think we're on? You should be able to tell from the logo. Oh. <laughs> and if that's not enough of a hint, oh. your eyes below my bed. Oh! V3! As in 5-3. Oh, that's why it's called V3. What killing game is this? What number Dongaroba is this? You can tell from the logo. Then this killing game is... That's a five. I see now. That's why it's V3. I... <laughs> I just got this that. The 53rd one? Ding ding! Correct! This is the 53rd season of Dongan Rampa! In other words, Dongan Rampa V3's official name is... Peak Academy arc in Danganronpa 1, 2, then 3. <laughs> Hold on. Some of these titles. Whoa, 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 whoa. The seasons just kept coming. And with it, came more killing games. Until it transcended games and anime to become this. The ultimate real fiction. The letter in there throw you off? Well, I guess that happens. But isn't it just rad how it looks like a letter, but it's really a number? <laughs> Trigger. Oh, you got me. Our title is the 53rd. As this is the 53rd game we have masterminded. It was supposed to be a hint, but whatever. I'm over it. Since this is the 53rd season. One would expect to see a multitude of characters. But you only have memories from the first two, so you wouldn't recognize any others. That's why I've limited myself to only cosplaying as Hope's Peak characters. Is it sinking in yet? This killing game is just the 53rd season of Danganronpa. The 53rd Danganronpa. Trapped in a fictional Danganronpa-inspired world and forced to play the killing game. That is what the world desired from you. So yes, I'm the mastermind. But the real mastermind forcing you to do this is... 
the world? The people of the outside world! The people of the outside world are the ones who are forcing you to do this! The whole world? Is the real mastermind? The reason I made this world? The reason you guys did the killing game? It's all because the outside world wants it, you know? It's not just me. It's everyone involved in this project. Project? Hmm. <laughs> you don't know what that is? Is your brain leaking oil or something? The ones managing this killing game aren't psychos like the remnants of despair. They're literal managers! Literally! So I want to hear your best guess. What company is running this show? Uh... This? Dongan Rampa. I thought I recognized it from the intro of the game. Team Dongan Rampa? Yeah, the company that makes Dongan Rampa is called Team Dongan Rampa. You guys are behind in your studies. The audience knew the answer right away. It's in the title credits at the start too. <laughs> yes. Because I, I actually, uh... <laughs> I still don't recognize some of this stuff, so I'm guessing... Yeah... I want to play, uh... Ultra Despair Girls next. I assume some of this will make more sense after I've seen it. Some of these I really wish I could have played. Yeah, I see this logo pop up whenever I boot up the game right here. I'm also a part of Team Danganronpa. We make the finest killing entertainment. Everyone enjoys our work oh so much. And our newest project is Danganronpa V3. Pounding <sighs> killing game brought to life by Ultimate Real Fiction. I'm I'm a little lost as to what what part of what she's saying is the truth or not. Shut up! Shut up! You created an entire fictional world to make us do this fictional killing game. That's right. Get mad. No matter how many false memories we've been implanted with, we aren't fictional. You sure about that? What? I can wait. I don't want to do this anymore. Let me go home already. I don't think you ever wanted to do it in the first place. That's impossible. Didn't I tell you that you have no homes to go back to? What? Why not? You're just like us. You only exist within the world of Duncan Rampa. Just like you? 
<laughs> Still don't get it? You just need to ask yourselves one question. Who the hell are you guys? Who are we? Well, I'm going to say this, but it's number one. We're the same. We're all just like you? That's right. You're all fictional, too. We're just fictional characters created solely for this killing game. Nothing we can do about it, I'm afraid. Danganronpa is that kind of property. What are you saying? We're not fictional! We're living, breathing people! Your immaterial existence is a fabrication independent of your actual flesh and blood. Yep, you're all fictional. You guys out there beyond the fourth wall already knew that, right? Yeah, you're really you didn't look like this when you first came to the Ultimate Academy. Yeah, okay, Those okay. Those were your true selves. Now you're all just fictional characters. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> That's the truth. That's the truth, then our real identities are normal people. Average, everyday people with no ultimate talent whatsoever. What? When you guys came to this academy for the first time, you were just boring, everyday high school students. You were average students with no talent, just like me. But boring everyday characters have no right to be in Danganronpa. So you are all made more suitable for your new roles. Everyone remembered thanks to the first flashback light. You were all given personalities, talents, and upbringings to create your characters. Much like that delightful documentary, Making a Murderer. It was at that point that the prologue of this story began. Which means your ultimate talents are all just fiction. Our talents as well? Yep. Your talents are uh. a bunch of lies. I mean, they suited you to a certain extent, but mostly in a placebo effect sort of way. I guess if anyone had an ultimate air quote talent, it would have been Rantaro for having this ultimate survivor perk. Kinda like a form of auto suggestion, you know. Like if you do it, it'll all work out. But it's not just your talents, it's your personalities, families, memories. It's all fiction created by the flashback light. Can you really say you're not fictional now? Even if your body is real, your identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fiction. Can you really say none of this is fictional now? Wait a minute. What are you babbling about? Our identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fictional? That's stupid! It's not stupid! Isn't this what you all wanted? You wanted this? Yeah, you wouldn't remember, but you guys were all from the outside world. It's not strange at all that you'd want to be part of the show you love. No way! Are you saying we wanted to participate in this killing game? That's not possible! How could we ever- Please, everyone, take a look at this! Oh, are we all going to be shown videos of us accepting it? Number 154. My name is... I've always been such a huge fan of Danganronpa and always wanted to be in one. If I were a contestant, I would want to be an ultimate detective. I know there's been a few in the past and I've always loved those characters. So I would want to be one of them. Uh, but I don't have to be a detective. I'll be anything to be part of the show. And I mean that. 
anything. I do anything to be <sighs> part of Don Kamrampa. I promise, if I get selected, I will work as hard as I can. I will come up with the best, most gruesome murders. I promise, everyone will love it. And an ultimate detective hasn't been the blackened yet, so I'm sure I could do that. I'm also thinking about the perfect punishment for an ultimate detective. Oh, son of a gun. What was that? Wasn't that you, Shuichi? No, it can't be. I'd never say something like... You wouldn't say that now, but this is you before you became who you are now. What? Oh my god. Oh no. The color has been drained from him. Oh jeez. Guys. When we saw your audition tape, we had a flash of inspiration. The weakest ultimate detective ever. Wouldn't it be great to see him grow? And that's why we made your character and had you join the gang. And the rest of you are no different. You auditioned, and were selected as well. Auditioned? Yeah. You were all so excited when you were selected. I believe it was right after you all received your ultimate wardrobe. Huh? Huh? What am I wearing? How nice! Mm-hmm. Looking good. Now you look more like Ultimates. Huh? U Ultimates? Really? So... Next up, the memory you've all been waiting for. You guys are ready? Hell yeah, get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. K killing game? Could it be... That isn't... this wasn't part of it. You, you mean we were selected? All right! We got picked? Really? All right! <laughs> oh, really? I'm selected for it too? We really said that? That's a lie! I have no memory of that! You just forgot us all. Because of the flashback light we used on you. The people you used to be are gone. You're fictional characters now. Do you finally understand? You are all flesh and blood fictional characters. So you got nowhere to return! All that stuff's fiction too! Then, my friends and family, my whole life before coming here... All fiction! That's what a backstory is! You can't go back home, because there is no such place! Just like how there's no Togami Corporation in the real world. The only place we fictional characters can live is in this fictional world. Only in this world. Only in Danganronpa. Only in this world? Yes! The place you're actually trapped inside is the Danganronpa world! That's why you guys can't leave this place! That's why your only option is to continue the killing game here. You're all fictional characters created oh, to kill man, each other. Oh man, It's what the world wants. Oh my god, he looks so worse for wear. That's why there's nowhere to run. Enough. I don't want to know anything else. I've had enough. Ugh, that reaction. You fell into despair. In times like these, you need to look to your friends for support. However, all your friends are fictional too! For example, even Kaito's illness was given to him as part of his character. <sighs> what? I was the one who came up with that plotline and gave him that virus! I was also the one who came up with the plotline where you fell for Kaito! Oh, jeez. What are you saying? Then, what about Tinkle? Was she always defending me because... Because that was her character. It's the same for me, too. A character created to bring excitement to the killing game. 
much like myself. So the killing game swelled with excitement. Even my pants started to swell too. You, you're telling us this is all a lie? Even my feelings? It's not a lie. Are you saying even those were lies? Hang on to that hope that that's not a lie at the very least. Oh, jeez. Well, if you're going to call fiction a lie, then yes. Everything in this world has a writing credit. All our words and actions are just a bunch of lies. For example, an unbreakable vow of brotherhood is just a simple plot line. You said it, bro! However, that was a splendid plot line! Even that thing Kaede said that moved Shuichi's heart! What? I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. That was a lie! Cause the real Kaede said... I'm perfect for a killing game. I don't have any faith in humanity. And who could forget Kaito's inspiring line? Don't forget! The impossible is possible! All you gotta do is make it so! That was a lie! Cause the real Kaito said! I'm not just gonna be a Donkan Ronpa. I'm gonna kill everybody and win! Once I've got fame and fortune, I don't gotta worry about what's impossible. It's all fiction! <sighs> it's all a lie! Every single thing that has happened in this killing game is a lie! reason we're all here right now is because of them. Because of them, I was able to change. That's why I was trying to live for them, too. I was trying to so hard to stay positive. But even if that's a lie... Why am I here? Why did I even survive this long? This is fiction. There's no greater meaning. Oh no, Shuichi is definitely falling to despair. No greater meaning to death. No greater meaning to life. It's all fiction. There's no meaning to be found in any of it. It's so gross I could just bark. Well, I guess it makes sense you wouldn't believe all this stuff. How about that? You in despair yet? It will be troublesome for us if you don't despair under our rule. What? Duncan Rumpa's all about despair! The reason this killing game's so popular, why it's gone on for 53 seasons. That reason is despair. Viewers flock to see your despair. <sighs> That's why all those people out there look so... Some of them don't look very happy. <laughs> what is this? Despair? Is this despair? Is this what the outside world wants? Is this what they want from us? Oh man. Oh. Kilo's been really quiet. Characters, anyway. It makes the viewers even more depraved and obsessed when they feel sorry for you. They watch, knowing that they shouldn't, just to revel in the depravity of it all. That depravity is the appeal of death games. It's the appeal of this very killing game. It's the appeal of Dongon Rampa itself! So what are we 
supposed to do? supposed to do oh no not this song it's gonna happen to us oh no 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 not this song oh i'm i'm gonna be sick what are you guys talking about weren't you going to ruin the class trial and end the killing games go ahead and stop it if you can try and stop a world obsessed with it there's no way to stop it. It's impossible. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Are you giving up already? It's all a lie, isn't it? Me, everyone here, everyone who died. Everything's a lie, right? I can't fight for a lie, can I? Oh, man. Oh! What's the matter? Are you in despair? No matter how much you grow, Shuichi, you're still weak after all. Now that you know it's all lies, you've gone back to the weak ultimate detective. <laughs> this pleases us. It is a despair fit for Dungan Rompa. Well, that was surprisingly disappointing. But I guess it's okay. We're still on script. What is Kibo doing? Everything's a lie. Everything's meaningless. Everything we've done, everything we've faced together, all of our feelings. Oh no. Oh Christ. Pitch black lies. Doesn't matter how many mysteries you solve. The mysteries were all fiction in the first place. All scripted. It's all over. It's all just a lie anyway. It doesn't matter what you do. It's all over now. Bad end? Did I do something wrong? What did I do wrong? Is this the end? Please tell me. I'm asking you. Oh, this is Kibo. Whenever I was in trouble, my inner voice would always guide me. That guidance is what brought me here. I don't believe that's a mistake. So, I will trust it. Please tell me. Tell me what I should do. Please tell me your decision. Yeah, save the situation? Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Yes? What the f- I hear your voices, crystal clear.
My inner voice is telling me I need to remedy this situation. That is why I will not give up. I will not give up hope until the very end. We can't give up. No matter what, hope is always within reach. We must keep our heads high and search for hope, especially in deepest despair. Hope? Um, what? Um, hope that I guess I myself want? You said so yourself. This killing game is the ultimate real fiction. If this is both real and fiction, then logically it can't all be fiction. Even if this world is fiction, even if we're fiction, there must be something we can do. So there must be a way to break through this. I won't give up hope. Not ever. Jeez, how annoying. The outside world doesn't just want despair. It wants hope too. If our voices have reached the outside world, then what my inner voice is telling me is... Oh, your inner voice? That's the voice of the outside world. What? Okay. I know, because I wrote your plotline, too. There's no way I wouldn't know who that is you're hearing. What is he hearing, then? That's the voice of the outside world. Oh, well, the outside world wants this to not continue. The voice of the outside world? From the start of this killing game, you've had a unique role. You're the audience surrogate. Okay. Audience surrogate? Your inner voice allows communication between yourself and the audience. That function exists to keep the audience entertained. Now tell me, what is your inner voice? Speak clearly and enunciate. What is my inner voice? If I must sur surrogate for the audience and we've been communicating this whole time, then... My inner voice is actually an audience survey. This is it. <gasps> an audience survey? What? What is? Uh, I'm Kibo now. Is that what's happened? Oh man, Shuichi's completely shut down. <laughs> well done. Yes, indeed, that is the truth. It's two-way communication that lets you participate in the program from home. That is your inner voice's true nature. The results of an audience survey. The voice I relied on for guidance was just the audience answering survey questions? Every move you made was dictated by the audience's answers to that survey. For this season of Danganronpa, the main gimmick is audience participation. That antenna on your head lets you receive their answers. Th this is an antenna? When your antenna broke and you went crazy? That was a big problem for us. We got flooded with complaints from the audience. But that's not your only role. You're also the audience's camera. Camera? Oh man. Your eyes are the eyes of the audience itself. The audience's eyes? The outside world has been watching from your eyes the whole time. It lets them feel like they're really a part of the Dungan Rampa world. And it's all thanks to you! That's why I'm so glad you survived all the way through. Because now I can use you to plunge the outside world into despair. D despair? If the audience surrogate 
falls into despair, then the audience does too. By making you fall into despair, I can make the entire world fall into despair. My despair will turn from fiction to fact and destroy reality itself. <laughs> Isn't that just the most delightful despair? You're crazy! <laughs> you go to all this trouble? Isn't Junko Enoshima just a costume? Oh, Kibo, mon petit doudou. My cosplay is a perfect reproduction. Actually doing stuff the characters would is totally part of that. Is that why you want the world to fall into despair? to see horrible setups and payoffs! How could be more horrible than a fictional despair eroding the real world? No one could have imagined an end this hopeless. No. I won't give in to despair. If I'm a surrogate for the audience, that I will use my inner voice to broadcast hope to the outside world. I already fucking told you! The outside world only wants to spread! There's no way to spread hope to an audience that watches the holy words. No! My inner voice already told me that's what to right. do. That's right! I need to remedy this! If that's the voice of the outside world, then the outside world actually wants hope. So I will trust the outside world. I will trust in hope! The ultimate hope robot! This is the power of hope. I will not lose to your despair. Not when I'm carrying the hope of the outside world! Oh, hang in there, Shuichi! Ugh, how annoying. Hope? That's not popular. There's a... Well, if I can get someone like you to fall into despair, that'd be a great ending. There's a great big hope bullet coming your way, Shuichi. I won't let you do that. Hope will never give in to despair. Oh, you're going to go that far? Let's settle this. Final battle between hope and despair. Settle this how? Yes, that is a problem. The class trial is in disarray because Monokuma broke a rule. You're the one who broke the rule. How about we start over and have a special vote? Okay. A special vote? But you're the one who broke the rules in the first place. Whatever, man. We've made it this far together. Let's just do one last boat. Cause that's what Doggone Rumpa's all about! <sighs> this final special boat will determine between Kibo and I, which of us should get punished? What? This will be a vote to determine how this story ends. You guys have to decide whether this story ends in hope or despair. To end in hope? To end in despair? We decide? Oh man, this is great! The outside world is starting to get jazzed up! Hope will definitely win. No one here wants despair to win. Yeah. That's right. You can't side with the mastermind. Even if that choice ends in your suffering. Suffering? Alright, let me explain what's gonna happen after the vote. If Kibo, representing hope, is punished, and I, representing despair, win, then, per the rules, the killing school semester will continue until only two students remain. You're going to continue the game? No need to worry! 
because there aren't going to be any more murders. My predictions are always correct 30% of the time. Even if we make new flashback light motives for you, you'd know they're lies. So no matter how many motives we provide, it's more likely that nothing will happen. Nothing will happen? Oh, happily ever after in the Academy. No! That's no way to live! Imprisoned in the school? Living lives of despair? Even if you went outside, there'd be no point. As I said, all your memories are nothing but fiction. Your hometowns, your families, your friends, they never existed in the first place. Yeah, but we have to have some sort of lives. Because they're all fiction! Dongon Rampa characters can only live in the Dongon Rampa setting. There's no reason to pull out of school. Only losers pull out. Then at least put us back how we were! Silence! We've not overspilled milk. I told you guys already. You can't get rid of memories with flashback lights. Yeah, but we had to have some sort of memory loss before. Flashback lights can only overwrite old memories with new ones. But if you're absolutely serious, then use a flashback light to become a different fictional character instead. So we can't go back to the way we were? <sighs> Admittedly, I don't know if you'd want to. <laughs> despair but if I representing despair am punished and Kibo representing hope wins then this killing game will end of course however you must follow the rules the game will continue until the final two so only two of you can graduate BS B.S. Oh, B.F.ing S. Why is this stuff blocked? Oh, it may maybe it's because I'm Kibo right now. Or something. I don't know. <sighs> Who all do we have left? Shuichi, Maki, Kibo, Himiko. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What? Out of the four of us, only two can survive? Yes, that is so. I will let you decide the two who will survive. We got this far, and you're telling us to sacrifice more of our friends? Oh, crap. Is there like a non-option? Can I pick a third option? <laughs> We've done it before. Easily sacrifices, and then the rest of you losers can leave the academy. However, even if you do escape to the outside world, you will find it most unwelcoming. No! As long as we never give up, there will always be hope. Well, if you're gonna be a pussy about it, do whatever you want. Can you choose which two will survive? Can you choose which two will be sacrificed? I sacrifice myself! What? Kibo, oh, if man. it will bring hope to everyone and the outside world, yeah, but... I will gladly sacrifice myself. <laughs> e even if you say that, you're still putting pressure on on the other three to to pick one. That's not gonna that's not gonna solve this the problem. Oh god. But Kibo. Oh god, if Shuichi kills himself here, I'm going. I'm just. Oh, I'm gonna be so upset. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna no I sink into the most despair of despair. <laughs> it's okay. Even if it destroys my body, I will defeat despair. It's evil. Even if you sacrifice yourself, you still need one more. <sighs> no. 
for hope to win, there needs to be one more sacrifice. Shuichi, Maki, and Himiko. One of them has to sacrifice themselves. Ah. Uh. Or hope can't win. Do you got the guts to make such a heartless choice? Ah. Uh. Do you understand now? Even if you don't need to choose the hard way, no one expects you guys to do that. Oh no, don't make me push a button. Now, there will be no more killing. So let's all just stay here together. There's no reason to go outside. Let's stay here together. Won't you stay here together? God, just, just go faster, just go faster. I messed up. Okay.